What's up guys, we're all here for Tech, and smart glasses are likely to become the third screen in our smart wear life. At the Inno Day 2021, Oppo unveiled their newest product, the Oppo Air Glass. It is an assisted reality smart glass that works with Oppo smartphones and smart watches. We finally got our hands on one, so without any further ado, let's go and check it out. Alright, before we get into it, let's quickly unbox it first. So opening up the box, we are greeted with a mirror with the same shape as the Oppo Air Glass itself. Underneath that is an Oppo branded notepad. Then right after that, we have the unit itself docked in its charging station. Right after that is the USB Type-C cable for charging and there's also a protective case included here on the side of the box. Hopping over to another box and lifting up the lid, we are greeted with another thin box with a microfiber cloth and the eye glasses. Now taking a closer look at the Oppo Air Glass, it has a single lens design and it is paired with a magnetic frame. It is actually a pretty straightforward looking device that is made out of a high grade polycarbonate material. Up front we have the glasses with a waveguide display that uses a micro LED projector screen hidden by a black tint in the part of the glasses. Found on the sides are the touch bar, Oppo logo, and the connector pins for mounting onto the glass frame and for charging, which is also surrounded by two microphones. Then moving over to the tip of the Oppo Air Glass, we'll find the speakers which are essential for taking up calls and you can also use it as your earphones or personal speaker. Weighing in at 30 grams, the Air Glass didn't cause any irritation when worn for long periods of time, which is excellent, especially when you are using this device when presenting or just casual use. Additionally, an eyeglass is included in the package wherein you can customize it to suit your eye grade if you have any. Moving over to the waveguide display, it uses a monochrome micro LED projector with a resolution of 640 by 480 which produces sharp text and elements. Now to pair up this device, you have to have an Oppo smartphone or Oppo smartwatch and then install the Smart Glass app. From the Smart Glass app, just like any other Bluetooth devices, just pair it up and you're good to go. Once paired, you can toggle notification by tapping the Air Glass's slim touch bar or simply by nodding your head. And then tap it again or shake your head to close them. To switch between apps, simply swipe the touch bar. As for its features, the air glass is used for navigation, translation, teleprompter, calendar, weather, fitness, tracking, and more. We tried using it outdoors and the micro LED display can still be visible even under broad daylight as it can produce up to 1400 of peak brightness. For hardware, the Oppo Air Glass sports a Qualcomm Snapdragon 4100 processor which help keeps things running smoothly on this spectacle. Unfortunately, we don't have the exact battery capacity but according to Oppo, this device can go for up to 3 hours of continuous usage or up to 40 hours of standby time which is relatively accurate during our testing. As of the publishing of this video, the Oppo Air Glass only works hand-in-hand -hand with an Oppo device running color OS 11 or above. However, it will surely be compatible with most Android smartphones and even iOS devices when it hits the market. With failed attempts in the past from other companies like Google, one can see the potential that this technology can bring. From using it as an alternative to smartwatches, to seeing and managing notification, as well as listening to videos a bit more privately. At this point, there are still a lot of things that can be improved in terms of both appearance and functionality. If you're wondering about the price, the Oppo Air Glass is currently in its testing stage and will not be available in the market anytime soon. As for our friends at Oppo, the device will have its limited release in the first quarter of 2022 and it'll first be available in mainland China. And that's it for now. What do you guys think about the Oppo Air Glass? Do let us know in the comment section below and if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Rail, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.